all you sawdust sucking sons and daughters. Today, I want to talk about this right here. If you don't know what that is, you're not watching enough YouTube. Or woodworking YouTube anyways. This is the dust collector made by Shop Nation. This I have wanted for quite a while. Ever since he put the videos out on how he was designing them and making them and everything. Okay, so I bought it. I paid the $55 and I bought it. And I've had it on here for about two weeks now. So I want to talk a little bit about it and give you guys and girls the pros and cons on what I have found so far. Like I said, it's only been two weeks, but there are some pros and cons and I want to give you a little better information from somebody who's not affiliated with Travis at Shop Nation. So I'm a small shop and every dollar I spend counts. So was this worth a purchase or was it a waste of money? So it shows up in a box like this. It's sealed. It's only plastic, so I mean it doesn't need a bunch of foam and stuff. I did buy the extra two and a half inch adapter. And it comes with a card that will take you to an instructional video. And explains how to do it. I did get the extra rubber flap for the back. And it comes with everything you need to install it. So the card I showed you is not the one that takes you to the instructional video. Apparently I throwed that one away. But it has a QR code that takes you right to the instructional video on step-by-step -step instructions on how to install your dust collector. And it's a really good instructional video. So before I started this last project, I wanted to go ahead and clean my miter station, suck up all the sawdust, and I wanted to go through one whole project without cleaning, just to see what kind of improvement this dust collection made. So this is the project that I built. It's not a huge project, but it is mostly pine, two by fours and pilot wood. So this is the footage of after it was all done. As you can see, it does not collect all of the dust. And during his video, he does say that it's not going to collect all of the dust. But this is a lot, I think. This is the shop vac I have hooked to said dust collector. Now, it is by no means the best shop vac or dust collector you can hook to this dust collection. It is a two and a half gallon, two peak horsepower, 5.5 amp, and it doesn't tell me what the flow rate on it is, and I do believe it was the cheapest one I could find the blows. So is that the problem? It may be. But I did clean this shop vac out before I started the project. The shop vac and the filter were clean. So let's take a look. <clears throat> so we do have quite a bit in the shop. I do not, um, I would have to say it's probably four times the amount that I had on the bench. Maybe five times. There's definitely considerably more here in the shop bag than what I swept off the bench. I feel like. So, is it good? Well, I don't know. I feel like there should be more in this bucket. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this out again. And clean this filter again. 
and we will go ahead and make a couple of cuts and I'll show you some of the other features that I'm not thrilled with. So the first thing I don't like is I would normally run my fences in this position. That way I could support all my wood right here. Now that's fine for chop sawing. Now he does explain all of this in his video. But even in his, watching his video you think, well it can't be that bad. But in sliding mode, you can see that's not going to work. So you have to move your fences out to get your sliding motion. I can live with that. It's not really that big a deal. It does kind of interfere with my T-track over here. Again, I can move it in to get to my T-track and move it back out not really that big a deal. He also explains that on your bevel cuts it does pose an issue hitting your fences especially in the sliding mode. And it hits on both sides so there's no need to show you both directions. Now, what really got me was the other day I went to make a miter cut, and boing, <clears throat> that's not cool. So, to be able to avoid that, this has to come off. You damn near have to remove your fence. So I don't know if I've ever even taken this fence off. You have to damn near remove your fence so that you can make sliding miters this way. It's not so bad on the other side. The other side you really don't have any problems with. There's really no obstruction with this side over here as far as that goes. And there's plenty of room back here against the wall. Here, I'll show you. Lock that in place. Y'all come over here for a minute. See, there's plenty of room between the wall for that to work. But, this over here, I don't want to take my fence off every single time I go to make a 45 in this direction. And look, it's catching again and the fence isn't even there. And it's wanting to pull off again. So I got a handful of sawdust here. not great so to test this we are going to do it without the dust collection on first and we are going to use the sliding mode only because let's face it that's the reason we all bought this saw in the first place so safety glasses
We'll do two cuts just for uh, Snickers and Grins here. Caught on a fence. I move my fence out. So that's two cuts with no dust extraction. So now, let's go with dust extraction. So I don't really feel like to give an honest review with this little shop back about this dust collector that I could be biased without putting it on a bigger shop back. So I'm going to put it on this big rigid that I use all the time. Rigid's a big name in tools, so let's give that a shot. So it wouldn't be right to do it without a handful of dust on the big shop bag. Well, <laughs> I wish I had better things to say. I'm a little disappointed at the moment. This is the first real test I've done on it. And I'm not optimistic. I feel like I'm losing a lot of comfortability that I love about this saw 
and not gaining a whole lot in return. Um, even on the big shot back, I'm not impressed. I was really, really hoping that it was just the shop, the small crappy shop back that was the problem. But that big rigid has actually got a lot of suction and I am fairly disappointed at the moment. Uh, it's only my opinion and you're free to do whatever you want and voice your own opinion. But I think this might be coming off. I'm going to give it a couple more weeks and see how it goes. But I feel like I might have just wasted 55 bucks. Huh. Well, that is all I have for y'all today. And man, I was really hoping for some better news for you guys. Yeah, that's all I got for y'all today. Uh, I might give it away to some of my subscribers. That way they can try it out for themselves for free. Maybe they'll like it more than I did. Maybe they won't be quite as disappointed as I am at the moment. So uh, hit that subscribe button. Like this video. And uh, give it a share. You might save somebody 55 bucks. Alright. I'll see y'all later.